Welcome back to Blue Ridge Silverhound. Today we're going to talk uh, talk about a coin that is not rare at all, as over a billion copies of the 1982 Roosevelt Diamond, both the Philadelphia and the Denver minted coin, exist or were made uh, from the U.S. Mint. So let's talk a little bit about the coin. All right, the coin is again this is from the Bronze Age of modern collecting, and Generally, a lot of the 1980s coins, especially from 1980 to about 1986, the coins were struck very poorly, very mushy in details, and sometimes it's kind of hard to discern whether or not you have a coin that is truly brilliant and circulated, or one that is simply just circulated. But we'll get to that in a second. So let's talk a little bit about more of the valuation of these coins. Okay, so a circulated 1982, whether it's a Philadelphia or a Denver minted coin with the mint mark. Okay, that's the caveat. Uh, is worth simply 10 cents. Uh, there is no premium uh, unless you had an error of some sort, whether it's clash dies, which was pretty commonplace for this date. Uh, rotated dies. Um... There was also some examples that exhibited um, die breaks uh, where you actually had a cud that filled in certain areas of the coin. Uh, things of that nature are worth money, okay? Uh, to an error collector, they're worth quite a bit of money, as a matter of fact. But let's go ahead and talk about the, the one coin that is in existence for, for this date. Um, so a normal dated coin would ha would have either a P mint mark, which is right above the date, or a Denver mint mark, which is a D. That would also be above the, the date. However, there have been a few rare examples where a 1982 Philadelphia coin was ex that does exist without the mint mark. Okay, and it's simply known as the 1982 no P or no mint mark variety. Now, what led to this omission? Who knows? It could could have been a grease-filled die. It probably was a case where it, it was never engraved into the master die at that point. Uh, but in any event, this is a coin that carries a significant amount of value. All right, so you absolutely want to keep this in mind when you're coin roll hunting or searching through pocket change through your dimes. Now, how much are these coins worth? Well, the no P Roosevelt dimes are valuable, even in circulated condition. Okay, that would be the only instance where a circulated 1982 would be worth any money, is if it, it, it indeed had the omission of the P mint mark. Okay, so how much are we talking about? Well, secondary sales have indicated that you know, depending on condition, because, it, you know, you might have a coin that's in good condition, or you might have an example that's AU, but not quite mint state, those coins have sold in the range of $25 to $100. Not bad for a simple find, you know, in rough condition even. However, BU examples have sold for quite a bit of money. Okay, there have been a number of examples that have sold on heritage auctions, great collections, in the $1,500 to $2,000 range. In this day and age, a PCGS or NGC third-party graded example of the no P mint mark Roosevelt dime sell for right around $1,000. Okay, that'd be something like mint state 65, 66. They're worth quite a bit of money still. Uh, of course, it would have to be brilliant uncirculated at that point, but you get the big idea. So, just to do a little bit of a recap and the finer key points to this whole thing. So, the mintage, Philadelphia minted coins. There were 519,475,000 examples that were produced. For the Denver Mint, there was 542,713 and 584 that were produced for Denver. Now, I did not add the San Francisco Mint coin on here because that was a proof only issue and made for collectors. So that would not apply on this video. We're just talking about circulated strikes. 
So let's say uh, let's say you're able to find a nice BU example, uh, whatever method, whether it's through uh, a, a mint set or maybe you discovered wine pocket change that fit the bill. If you did not authenticate it through like a PCGS or NGC, okay, the raw BU examples still sell between one to five dollars. It's a tough date for this type of grade. Now the gem graded examples sell as high as 500. So mint state 67 with a full torch bands on the reverse uh, fit, in it, fit in this criteria. Uh, look for them, no mint mark varieties, okay? It's a Philadelphia struck coin that will have the mint mark completely missing. All right, so it's just a date. Uh, circulated no P coins command 25 to $100 in the secondary market, and that'd be like eBay. Uh, BU graded coins through either PCGS or NGC. Uh, of the no P example, sell as high as $1,000. Uh, again, depending on grade, they might even stretch higher than that um, in today's market. All right, so where does that leave us? Well, 1982, again, is a very tough date, which is why raw examples of the coin sell for what it does, $1 to $5. Um, pocket change examples that are well circulated and you know have seen its uh, day in commerce are worth only but 10 cents I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it's brought you lots of joy knowing that 1982 Roosevelt dimes have a little bit of value so keep an eye out for them I appreciate your guys' time again I'm your host Blue Ridge Silverhound please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so they are, of course, the best ways to support my channel. And enjoy talking coins with you. Keep hunting. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.